Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Saturday, the 29th day of October, 2022. Open your heart this morning and open your mouth and be saying Amen to today's prophetic declarations. Our prayer focus this morning is centered on prayer of deliverance, deliverance from captivity. In the book of Isaiah chapter 49, Isaiah chapter number 49, reading from verses 24 and 25. Isaiah 49 verses 24 and 25, it reads, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, I'm reading New King James, says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the captives of the righteous be delivered? But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible be delivered. For I will contend with him who contends with you, and I will save your children. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord said, even those who are lawful captive. What does that mean? Even those who by themselves delivered or hand over themselves to the devil, in one way or the other, the Lord said, by my mercy, I will deliver them. I want to pray for everyone in captivity today, captivity to sin, captivity to one bad behavior, even natural people who are behind the bars unlawfully. I want to pray for people this morning that are in, that are in captivity to sickness, captivity to debt, captivity to all kind of ugliness. Today is your day of deliverance and liberty. By the anointing and the power of the living God, evidently upon this platform, I declare freedom for everyone that is in captivity today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the anointing and the power of the living God, I declare freedom. I declare liberty. I declare open door for everyone today in Jesus' name. I remember the story of one of our daughters on this platform who was abducted somewhere in Maiduguri, Boronu State and was in captivity for several days and months. But by the grace of God, the Lord set her free and she's free today. I want to pray for everyone again. I don't know where you have been head bound. I don't know where you, I don't know the condition that has made you to bow your head that you cannot even talk where others are talking. Today, I declare by the authority of the living God, you are free today and you are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Maybe those that have taken you prey, those, those that have taken you as captives, maybe they are mighty than you. The Bible says, all the captives of the righteous be delivered. He said, but thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. I pray in the name of the Lord. I see God delivering you from the hand of all the terrible ones. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare today that you will not suffer in your body. You will not suffer in your spirit. You will not suffer in your soul. What you know nothing about, they, you will not be implicated today in any form. In Jesus' name, I am praying for safety. I am praying for security. I am praying for divine protection for everyone hearing the sound of my voice today. In Jesus' name, today is Saturday. As we step out today in peace, we shall all return in peace to the glory of God. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout amen. All of you that have occasion to attend this weekend, Maybe you are the one, you are the celebrant. I declare that all will end in praise in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. I believe. Glory be to God. Beloved, this Saturday, let's do what we normally do. Let's give room for testimonies and let's glorify God with these testimonies. As I roll out these testimonies, I want you to key to them. Connect to God via these testimonies and believe God for your own miracle too. It will happen to you very shortly. The first one today says, says, uh, it says, Good morning, sir. My name is also Persin, and I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in my life. Before the beginning of this year, 
I pray to God that I would like him to bless me with a car and a piece of land before this year runs out. And to the glory of God, he has fulfilled his promise. I am here to testify to God and give him all the glory and adoration for all he's been doing in my life. I'm also here to encourage other listeners that they should be steadfast in their devotion to God and it will surely show up. I also want to appreciate Reverend Mike Eniola and the entire Hour of Destiny team for the tremendous work they do. Surely the Lord is on this platform. Hallelujah. The Lord is here and God will continue to be here. Another testimony. Good evening, Daddy. I'm here to return all the glory to God for His faithfulness and answer prayers. I sent you a text message on the 9th of October concerning a man that was threatening me and, and I asked you to pray for me and my children that the truth of the matter will come out and you reply that God will, in, God will intervene and vindicate me and my children in Jesus' name. And I said, Amen with faith. The following day, the man came. Immediately he saw me, he became confused. And after little interaction, he left. Indeed, our God is faithful. Thank you, sir, for your prayers. May God continue to increase his anointing upon you and your family. My name is also person from Enugu State. Hallelujah. Thank God for that deliverance. Another testimony is here. This one says, Good morning, Daddy. I want to testify to the goodness of God upon my life. After listening to the daily devotional and spiritual breakfast on the 26th of September, I keyed into it. Then on the 27th, I went out for a land inspection. And after seeing the land, on our way coming back, we were attacked by unknown gunmen who started shooting at us. One person died instantly. One with gunshot, one with gunshot is still in the hospital. But I and other guy were unharmed. Glory were unharmed. Glory be to God Almighty because I have reasons to praise God. Please help me spread this testimony. I am so so person. Praise God. This God is good. Another testimony. Testimony, I sent you a distress message around 2 a.m. today, Thursday, 13th October 2022, that my son was arrested from his place of work and was taken to the police station for lack of his residential or his resident permit, which he has been denied many times. You responded that God will intervene for him. Indeed, God intervened. The police called the home office with the mind of deporting him. But the home office said he cannot be deported because he has a wife who is a citizen and he has a child he, and he has no criminal record. He was advised to submit his application for resident permit as soon as possible. The police also made provision for his transportation back to his office. I thank the Lord of Pastor Eniola for not failing me and I've, for, because I've been calling on him. This is from a woman who sent a message concerning her son in France. To God be the glory. Another testimony. Uh, God Almighty, I want to appreciate God for delivering me from a very heavy cough that I brought upon myself that made, that made breathing difficult for me. The cough went so bad and I almost lost hope of living. But having listened to the announcement that there will be global Holy Communion and anointing service, I got myself ready. I bought La Casera and some biscuits. I couldn't see olive oil to buy, so I used granite oil. Hallelujah. After the prayers, right from that same day, my breathing did not return to, to the abnormal way. I became totally freed and made whole from that terrible cough today. I followed that. I followed that and I had a dream which I killed a snake that came attacking me. I ensured it was dead and I woke up. My faith is that since God has healed me of such evil cough, other diseases in my body have equally vanished in Jesus' name. This is coming from a military officer from the northeast stand part of Nigeria. Another testimony is here. This one says, testimony, testimony. I give God the glory and adoration. Sir, my name is also person. I reside in Lokoja Kogi State. Sometimes I mean, my testimony goes like this. On the 10th of July 2022, during devotional hour, 
uh, the devotional prayer, our Reverend Mike, and Allah prophesied that there shall be miracle work to someone, anyone that can say amen, and I receive it, of which I claimed it, and it came to pass. Secondly, on the 11th of July, 2022, he equally prayed and prophesied that someone is receiving good news and breakthrough during the global communion service, and since then I have received breakthrough, especially on my work. Thirdly, on the 25th of July, 2022, our Reverend Mike Kenola during the devotional hour said that the Lord will build a house and complete the ongoing project and that very soon we shall become landlord in the mighty name of Jesus. Presently now, I have moved into my house, even though it still remained a little to be completed, but now I am a landlord. Praise the name of the Lord. Truly, God is using his servant and I pray for more anointing. Amen. Congratulations. Another testimony here. Testimony, good morning, Daddy in the Lord. I'm so grateful to write this testimony. I sent you a message that my daughter's wedding was coming up in that my daughter's wedding is coming up in November, but I don't have money. And you responded that you responded that God will send me a help, that God will send me help. And I say, Amen. Truly, God did send help to me. Everywhere, miracle alert from every corner, and God is faithful. We did the wedding without any stress. Daddy, may God continue to keep you for us all the way from September. Amen. I think the wedding took place in September or thereabout. Another testimony here, testimony of victory. Daddy, I want to thank your God for what he has done for me after your prayer over the power that always come and harass and press me down in my dream. The battle has been over since then. The battle is, is gone since then. Hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy. Another testimony. Testimony, testimony. I'm so, so person from Benue State. I am thanking God for his provisions. On the, 10th, on the 13th of October 2022, around 9.48 p.m., I received unmerited alert from the federal government amounted to so-so so amount. The money came at the right time. I was highly in need to pay my daughter's school fees. It was exact amount I needed that God miraculously alerted me. My neighbors, most of them received their own money but lesser than my own. I was the only one closest within my neighborhood to receive more than so-so amount. I return thanks to God. Pastor Enola, your prayer for us is working. It, your prayer for us is worth thanking God for. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Let me take another one. Testimony, testimony. Good day, sir. I want to give God the glory for answering our prayers. I tested you sometime last year concerning my husband's health, and you replied that I will not lose him. I thank God that he has fully recovered. I come to say thank you. May your ministry continue to make impact and heaven at last. I'm testing from Lagos. The last one for today, because we can't finish them. Say, good morning, daddy. My name is also person from Ogun State. I've been listening to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional over two year, for over two years now, and I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in my life and my daughters. On the 14th of October, 2022, God Almighty delivered us from the strike of lightning. We were in the kitchen trying to prepare dinner, and it was rainy. Then lightning entered through the window and destroyed our television. I give all the glory to God that it was not our lives that were destroyed by but the television. May his name alone be highly exalted. Father, thank you for these testimonies. Thank you for the testifiers. Thank you for everyone that have listened and connected. I pray that yours too will happen and we will share your testimony very soon. You will be the next to be announced. God bless you. Have a wonderful Saturday and a peaceful weekend. In Jesus' name, amen.